This is an absolutely beautiful sweeping combination. I love it. You start in Butterfly Guard, you move into the X Guard, and you sweep the guy with a technical stand-up sweep. It's covered on pages 100, 101, 102, 103 of non-stop jiu-jitsu. Let's take a look at it in video form. All right, Steph, now we're gonna look at uh, a technique. We're gonna move from the collar and pant control to X guard to a technical stand-up sweep. But since the name is so long, you know, I just shorten it down. I use abbreviation to make it so much easier to remember. So I just call it the, the CPC XGTSS. Mm. Yeah, you can see that, yeah, right? No, that really rolled off the tongue. Very easy. So, right into the position here, I'm gonna secure that pant grip and I'm gonna change my grip. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull, he's gonna resist. When I start pulling myself up, well, he's just gonna start, you know, kind of pushing back into me. So when I just, when I get a feel for him coming back in, I'm gonna put my hook back inside and I'm gonna scoot into him and I'm gonna lift him, okay? He's gonna just, you know, keep tight here. I'm gonna keep, kick this leg right through. So as I scoot under him and I lift him, I'm gonna kick this leg through and then back. So I need to do this right here. I need to bring this leg back up so he's not able to lock his feet. If I keep this leg down, he's gonna lock his feet just like that and I won't be able to get the X. So as soon as I kick through, I need to bring my leg back up. And this knee is very tight here. And there's always gonna be a little space for me to bring my hand inside and bring his arm, his leg up and onto the shoulder. And then from here, it's not mandatory, but if I can, I like to go ahead and get this grip right here. I already have a collar and I like to keep this grip right here. And now I'm just gonna either put this leg in immediately, so I have space now. Sometimes it's a little bit tight, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll rock a little bit. Steph is not gonna fall down, he's just gonna kinda open his base a little bit, he doesn't wanna fall. So I'll rock a little bit to make space to put my leg back inside. Now I have that, that full X position. And we're gonna do again that technical stand-up sweep, which is, it's not just the most basic, but I think it's also the most common, it's highly effective. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start to stretch him away, I'm gonna follow him up and post on my elbow just like this here. So actually I'm up so high now, I'm just gonna put my hand on the mat, take my foot on the mat, and now I'm gonna slide this leg out. Because he's on his knee, that's my cue, I'm gonna go to my knee as well, here. And now I'm just gonna start to stand up, and he's gonna fall at some points. I'm gonna come right on top. So again, we do from a different angle. <clears throat> so again, I'm starting that collar and pant control, just like this. So I'm gonna to try to push him backwards. Well, he resists just like that. He may not totally collapse me, but he's just leaning forward now. So I slide that leg back in. I'm gonna scoot, I'm gonna lift, kick, bring it back. Just like that. So again, I don't wanna leave this down. I gotta bring it all the way back up. This hand is always gonna push him this way, which is gonna expose this leg more. So the more I can use this knee, this knee, and this hand, to direct him over here, the more isolated his leg is, and the easier it's gonna be for me to hook in, just like that, bring it to the shoulder. Let's say I can't get this sleeve for now, it's okay. I'm gonna put that hook in right away this time. I'm gonna to start to stretch him away, and I'm gonna sit up, right here, tech stand to my knee, stand up, and I bring him down. So I wanna use the action of push-pull. And again, the customer is always right, like Professor Draculino always says. And so I'm going to take what he gives me. If, if I push and you don't resist, I come on top. If I push and you resist, I'm going to scoop you up and use your movement, your, your, your movement against you. That's what we call the keto. Okay, you're going to use this movement against him, right? <laughs>
technique you just saw, combine different forms of guard, and you transition from one position into another, into another, until you actually sweep the guy. This is a very dominant theme in non-stop jiu-jitsu. If you like jiu-jitsu, and if you like books about jiu-jitsu, go check this out on Amazon right now. We put a ton of work into it, and I think it really shows.